So this exercise is related to the uh, calculation of energy change or enthalpy change. First part of the exercise, about 17 to 18 MCQs are there. And the second part of exercise is the structure question. So we will do this exercise today. And uh, remember one thing, just recall the idea that whenever a chemical reaction or any reaction happen or occur, so we calculate the energy change or enthalpy change. And how energy change or enthalpy change can be calculated? It is the bond breaking, which is a reactant side, minus the bond forming, which is a product side. So bond breaking, bond breaking minus bond forming will give us enthalpy change or energy change. So this whole exercise, first part, which is M, which are MCQs, will calculate the energy change. Sometime we need a bond energy. Uh, later in this exercise, you will find a question related to that. But most of the questions are related to energy change, enthalpy change. And as MCQs are there, so you will have both uh, like options are also there. So. You, in the first question, chlorine react with ethane to produce a chloroethane. So this is ethane reacted with chlorine, produced chloroethane and hydrogen. The reaction is exothermic. So look, if they give an idea, reaction is exothermic. So what should be the energy change, positive or negative? If the energy reaction is exothermic, what should be the energy change, negative or positive? So energy change should be negative. So it means option C and D cannot be an answer at all. So it means these are totally wrong. We are left with either A or B as a reaction is exothermic. Now, how to solve this question? So on the left-hand side, we'll do a bond breaking. And on the right-hand side, we'll do for bond form. Bond breaking. So which bonds we are breaking? We are breaking CH bonds. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six CH bonds. Six carbon and hydrogen bonds. Then we have carbon-carbon bond is there. So there's a carbon-carbon bond. And then we have chlorine-chlorine bond, one chlorine-chlorine. Then we'll just simply substitute the values like 6 into CH bond as the bond energies are given. CH bond is 410. So it will be 410 plus carbon-carbon bond. Carbon-carbon bond is 350. 350 and chlorine chlorine bond is 240. So 6 into 410 plus 350 plus 240. What's the final answer? 3050. Okay. So this answer, the bond breaking is 3050. So first, because the reactant side is a bond breaking side. Then the product side is a bond forming side. Which bonds are formed? So one, two, three, four, five. Five CH bonds are there. So five into CH. So we'll do five times CH. Plus carbon carbon is there. So carbon carbon is there. Plus there is a carbon chlorine as well. Carbon chlorine is there. And there is hydrogen chloride, HCl also there. So we separate the two, like the reactant side is a bond breaking, product is a bond form. Then we have H and Cl. We'll substitute the values only. So it will be five times five times CH. So it is four hundred and ten. Five into four hundred and ten plus carbon carbon is three fifty plus carbon chlorine is three forty. 
plus hydrogen chloride is 430. So when we substitute, what's the answer? 3170. 3170. That's a bond forming energy. So we were having the bond breaking energy and we have the bond forming energy. We need, but the question is calculate the energy change. So how to calculate the enthalpy change or energy change? The formula is the bond breaking minus the bond forming. So the bond breaking energy, when we calculate the bond breaking energy, that was uh, 3050 minus the bond forming energy, 3170. So what is delta H, the enthalpy change when we substitute? It will be minus 120. So minus 120, it matches with option B. So B is the right answer. Is it uh, clear this question, how we can solve the question related to enthalpy change or energy change using the bond energies? Anyone having a doubt? No, sir, no. Okay. So moving on to the next question, similar questions are there. All the questions you have to do the same thing. You have to like take the reactant side as a bond breaking side. The product side is a bond forming side and then calculate the energy change by bond breaking minus bond forming. But some questions instead of like here, uh, the first two questions you can see they give you the bond, but sometimes they don't give you show the bonds. They give you the molecule and you have to identify how many bonds will be there. Later in this exercise, you will find such questions. Moving on to the second question. So reactant side is a bond breaking side. Product side is a bond forming side. So we have one, two, three, four. So four CH bonds are there. Plus carbon, carbon, double bond. Look, carbon carbon double bond energy is given you to here carbon carbon single bond. Like sometimes what student a common mistake that they use a carbon carbon single bond and they multiply by two for double bond. That is wrong. Because a double bond energy and the single bond energies are not multiple of each other. That's why you are not supposed to multiply. You just have to use the same energy what is given in the test. And then we have hydrogen, hydrogen. We substitute the values. So, 4 into CH, 4 into CH, CH is how much? 410. Carbon, carbon, double bond, 614. And carbon, hydrogen, 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 436. So, when you add, you will get 2,690. That is a bond breaking energy. I'm not checking the calculation. So in case if it is uh, wrong, just let me know in the chat. Then for bond forming energy, one, two, three, four, five, six CH bonds are there. So it will be six into CH plus uh, carbon carbon. So six times the CH bond energy, which is 410. And the carbon carbon is 350. We just substitute the values. We get 2810. So 2810 this is a bond forming energy. Now we need the energy change. How to get the energy change or enthalpy change? It is a bond breaking minus bond forming. So bond breaking was 2690 minus bond forming is 2810. When you simplify, you will get minus 150 for enthalpy change. It is negative 120. So option B again is the right answer. Is it uh, clear this one? Question two about the enthalpy change, how it can be done or calculated. Yes, sir, clear. Okay. Moving on to the next question, a similar, but look, what is the difference here? 
in this question, all the first two questions you were had they, they were showing the bonds. But this question, the bonds are not shown. So if the bonds are not shown, first you have to show the bonds and then calculate. So we have to draw the structure of CH4. So what is the structure of CH4? CH4 means carbon bonded with four hydrogen. And O2 means oxygen double bonded with oxygen because oxygen belongs to group six. So it will share two electrons. That's why there will be a double bond. But there are two molecules. So there will be another molecule. This is a reactant. For product side, for product side, what we have carbon dioxide. So this is carbon dioxide. And we have water molecules. The structure of water is HOH. But there are two water molecules, so it will be HOH again. And now we will solve reactant side. Reactant side is a bond breaking. And the product side is a bond form. So first four CH bonds are there. Plus oxygen double bonded with oxygen two. Because one and two. We just substitute a value for CH bond is 410. And oxygen double bonded with oxygen is 496. So 496 into two plus 410 times four. When you multiply, you will get 2,632. That is the bond breaking energy. Then the bond forming energy, you have oxygen. So two of the bonds are oxygen carbon or carbon oxygen double bond, one and two. And four bonds are there because two water molecules contain four OH bond. So four OH bonds. So two into 2 CO, CO is how much? 805 plus 4 into OH, 460. So 460 times 4 plus 805 times 2, and we'll add them. So we'll get 3450. 3450. That is a bond forming energy. Now to calculate the energy change. It is bond breaking minus bond forming. So the enthalpy change or energy change, which is the bond breaking energy minus the bond forming energy. The bond breaking energy, it is 2,632. The bond forming energy, 3,450. When we simplify, we get minus 818. So D will be the right answer. So again, the same thing, but what was the difference in this question compared to the previous two questions? That this time, instead of giving the structure, the molecular formula of a element or a compound was given, and you have to identify first how they will have the bonds and then count the number of bonds. It's not about the number of molecules, it's about number of bonds. Like example, in water, it's H2O, but the bonds are two OH bonds out there. That's why two water molecules contain four OH bonds. Same thing, carbon dioxide is one molecule which contains two carbon oxygen double bonds, separate. Moving on to the next question, a similar question is there as the molecular, uh, like hydrogen peroxide structure is given, but water and oxygen, like in this question, what is the difference here? That one molecule structure is given and other molecule structure is not given. But you have to write uh, the, like make the structure first, a structure in terms of bond. So H2O2 structure is given, which is H O. O and H. So in hydrogen peroxide, two molecules of high, this, this number shows the number of, this coefficient shows the number of the molecule. Two molecules of hydrogen peroxide. So there should be another one, H, O, O and H. And for water molecule, 
Water is H2O, which is HOH, but there are how many molecules are there? Two. So there will be two water molecules. Why does oxygen form a double bond with other oxygen? Why does why oxygen cannot form a double bond with another oxygen water? Because there is no other oxygen available. There are two hydrogens available. There is like formula of the water is H2O. So there is only one oxygen and two hydrogens are available. That's why it is forming a single bond with each hydrogen. The structure of a water molecule is H2O. And the structure of oxygen, it is O double bonded with it. Then after drawing the structure, because only one water molecule is there, in 2H2O, what is the meaning of 2H2O? 2H2O means there are two water molecules. 2H2O means two water molecules. Each water molecule contains two hydrogen and one oxygen. So this is one water molecule, then there will be another water. In H2O2, because there are two oxygen available, if oxygen form a double, in hydrogen peroxide, if oxygen form a double bond with another oxygen, then there is no bond available with hydrogen. It cannot form a bond with hydrogen, so it won't form hydrogen peroxide. That's why oxygen is forming a single bond. So first we have a reactant and a product. Reactant side is a bond breaking side. The product side is a bond forming side. So bond breaking energy, one, two, three, four OH bonds are there. OH or HO is the same thing. And one and two oxygen bonds are there, single bonded with oxygen. Because like this, one, two, and there are four OH bonds are there. And we just substitute the values, 4 into OH, which is 460, plus 2 oxygen single bonded to oxygen 150. So we got the bond breaking energy, which is 2140. And bond forming energy, 1, 2, 3, 4 OH bonds are there. And 1 oxygen double bond to the oxygen. So 410, 460 into 4 plus oxygen double bond with oxygen is 496. When we simplify, we get 2336. And then we sub, uh, to get the energy change, it is bond breaking minus bond form. The bond breaking energy is 2140, bond forming energy 2336. Uh, when we subtract, we get a negative minus 196. So minus 196, so B will be the right answer. Is it a clear discussion? So as I mentioned, sometimes the question, they give you the structure, the bonds, which you just uh, check how many bonds are of each uh, type of bonds, and then bond breaking minus bond forming. But some question, they might give you a molecule and you have to draw the structure of a molecule first, identify the bonds, and then from those bonds, find the bond breaking and bond forming and then the energy change. In question five, ethene is burned in oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water molecules. So, Reactant, here bonds are given, so we don't have to separate them. The reactant side will be a bond breaking side. And the product side will be a bond form. So, one, two, three, four CH bonds. Carbon double bond with carbon bond is there. And three oxygen double bond with oxygen. 
So four into four hundred and ten plus carbon carbon double bond six hundred and ten plus three to oxygen oxygen double bond four hundred and ninety seven. The bond breaking energy three thousand four hundred and seven. For bond forming, look. Two molecules of carbon dioxide. So this is one molecule, then there will be another molecule like this. So if the one molecule contained two CO bonds, so two molecules contain four CO bonds. OC or CO bond, four will be there. Why four? Like in one molecule, there are two. Two OC or CO bond. But if there are two molecules, they will have four. And same thing, in one water molecule, there are two OH bonds. Or HO bond, but in two water molecule there will be four. So this will be four into CO, and this will be four into OH. The bond forming energy is five thousand and sixty. Five thousand and sixty. What is the energy change? It will be bond breaking minus bond forming. Maybe you have to, like the bond breaking energy, you have to check. I'm using your values only. So first was uh, 4 into 410 plus 610 plus 3 into Four ninety-seven. This was three thousand seven hundred and forty-one. So three thousand seven hundred forty-one minus five thousand and sixty. So this is a bond breaking minus bond forming. So bond breaking energy 3,741 minus 5,060. It will give us minus 1,390. So C will be the right answer. Is it a clear discussion about enthalpy change, calculation of enthalpy change using the bond energies? Same way, discussion is there. Uh, some bond, the molecules as the molecules are given. So when molecules are given, you have to first sort out as H two means hydrogen, hydrogen single bond, and how many molecule two. So you have to do two molecule, and O two means oxygen, oxygen double bond. This is a bond breaking, bond forming H two O, or water is there. So which is H O H, and how many of them two water molecule? So there will be two. Water molecule. Reactant side is a bond breaking side. So it will be 2 into HH plus O double bonded with it. So it will be 2 into HH, how much? 436 plus oxygen double bonded oxygen 496. And here the bond forming energy 4 into OH. So 4 into OH or HO. 460. So bond breaking energy is how much? One thousand three hundred and sixty-eight. And bond forming energy is one thousand eight hundred and forty. So we get the energy change bond breaking minus bond forming. So 1,368 minus 1,840, which is equals to minus 400, equivalent to minus 472. So 
negative 472, which option it matches with? It matches with option C. So C is the right answer. Is it a clear discussion? Do you want to have a doubt till this point? Yes, 